Well, I thought I'd bring you guys an update of what's happening inside the cage. Here you go. That's where we're at. I wanted to show you guys some of the growth. It's actually kind of crappy out, but I like it. It's nice and cool. It's starting to mist pretty good, but I don't care. It's easier to see them when the sun's not glaring, I think. Anyhow, I'm going to go through the inside of the cage here really quick. Just kind of show you the growth, man. It's unbelievable in a week what these things have done. Oh, it's starting to get actually kind of nasty out here. These are the 75 bubble gums. Or bubble gum 75s, whatever you want to call them. I'm sorry, no, they're not. These are these Savannah 7s. Oh, my bad. These are from Ed. But these things are going nuts. Just beyond healthy. Just crazy growth. They're starting to flower like crazy. I don't think, I think one pod is stuck. I don't know where it is. Little tiny, tiny thing there. But yeah, I can't find it. It's really hard to find pods on these plants, man. The ones that I topped, they're so bushy. You gotta really get down and look. Oh, uh, let's see. This is, this is a giant boot. A couple giant boots that are taking off like crazy. This is a King Nagas. Two of them. You saw those in the last video. Look at how much bigger those damn things have grown. It's amazing. Uh, yellow boots from Joe, I believe. Yep, both from Joe. Kind of can't even see from one from the other on these damn things. <clears throat> What's actually starting to rain now? Wow, I'm going in. Okay, that's over. It was getting pretty wet there. Uh, where'd I leave off? I think I was right here on Joe's boots, the yellow boots. This is the uh, boot from Ben, a regular red boot, and another regular red boot. They're doing good. No pods yet, I don't think, on those. This is a Cornish Naga. He's dragging behind low. This is from Paul. He's doing pretty good. This one from Volker is doing a lot better. It's ahead of the game for some reason. It's really branched out. Look at this plant. Look at the way it grew. Like five or six branches straight out to the sides. It's just now getting something up the middle. It's pretty wild looking. Really out to the sides. No pods yet. A lot of flowers. This is a bulb. These are the bubblegum seven pots. These are something cool. I want to show you the. Uh, these things branched out really weird, like almost from ground level. They branched out way down there. I topped it too early, obviously. And uh, they're starting to form some weird looking buds, but see these, see the top of those buds? How odd they look? They're longer and they're kind of furry looking. That's kind of what the pods that Paul and Ed had that were the right phenotype of this look like. Here's a really good example of it. I'm hoping this means I have a good phenotype here where I'm going to have a red stem and a thick top. But see that? How weird that looks? Hope that's focusing, but... They look different from, let's see, the ones on this plant all look like that. So do the first one. But now look at these. This is a bubblegum seven pot, same seeds. Look at that. Now that's a normal flower. It doesn't have that big thing. Just this part right here is so odd looking. It's very soft and kind of furry looking almost. But if you've ever seen a picture of the bubblegum seven pot, that's how the top of it looks except it's bright red. Anyhow, that one does not have it, so out of those three, two of them look like possibly they might be good phenotypes. Uh, these are the Scorpion Butch Tees. And there's another one, they're both doing really good. All Everything is pretty much flowering pretty hard now. Uh, that's another Butch Tee back there, real healthy. This one is the Maruga that had damping off that I cut. I cut it right above where it was damped off and stuck it in the ground with some rooting hormone and the sucker growed. So, I grew I should say. So I actually got something out of it. The uh, Looks like it's gonna go too. Looks pretty healthy. Took a while. I actually had some black crap on the stem. I thought for sure it was gonna take a dive. But And this is a Shabu Shabu. It's growing nicely. There's a chocolate boot. Uh, cross with a Nagamorich. I don't know what the hell is going on with this plant. This thing is it's leaning all over the place. I'm thinking about, uh, I probably ought to put the camera in there. I'm thinking about uh, planting, the, potting this up just to stabilize that stem a little. I think I'm going to. And this is another Shabu Shabu. He's coming along. 
and get them potted up too pretty soon and get it over with. Uh, this is an Infinity. It's doing nicely. Oh, and this one back here, the Naga Viper. I did that one. I'll show you. This one was damped off too, and I I cut it uh, I cut it at the stem, same as the other one. And this one I don't think is going to make it. It's not showing any signs of life. It started to put out those two little leaves, and then it just kind of now it looks like it's shriveling up. So I've pretty much given up hope on that one. Let's see. These are the yellow brain strains. This thing's huge. Just got enormous in the last week. This one is the same. This one is the same. Three of them. No pods yet. A lot of flowers. This is a regular brain strain. And this is a brain strain from Mike. They're doing, I can't even really get good pictures of these. I'm too close. Anyhow, that's Mike's brain strain. Another one of Mike's strain. Really nice. Not quite potted, but boy, the flowers are packed with pollen, so they should be good. And this is regular Primo. And this is another Primo, so these two are both Primos doing great. Well, let's see, this is an Assam boot. These are actually both of them, one there and one there. Both doing good. This one's actually got a little pod started on it. So that's good. It's a weird looking little pod. There's got a couple more back there that look like they're starting to stick, so that's a good sign. Let's see, this one I'm having problems with. My seven pot brown, one of them, is having issues. I'm doing a deal with it today. I'm going to try to do something to it today. Fix it. It's having brown spots on the leaves, and I've been clipping them off and clipping them off, and it just keeps coming back, so it's definitely got something going on. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't think it's bacterial leaf spot. It doesn't look like it or act like it, but it sure as hell won't go away. So. No matter what, I clip every leaf off that's brown and it just keeps on putting them out. So, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm still thinking about it. This is the other 7-pot brown. It's doing good. It's starting to really kick into gear now. These are the Reapers. This one's got a sad story in it too. This one's doing good. Very short, very squat, but really bushing out and flowering out. No pods in any of these yet. This one's a little taller. All planted at the same time. These two. These two anyhow. And then this one, how's that doing? Talk about a yellow ass plant, still bright yellow. It's all the same, everything's getting the same stuff. These two, see the yellowish stuff on there that's kind of going away? These three were all the same. They started to yellow like that. This one popped out the best. This one's definitely getting through it now. And this one, I just let it grow out. I didn't do anything to it. And this one is, uh, doesn't look like it's going to do it. The leaves are healthy. I mean, they're not falling off. They're, they're firm, stiff leaves. They're not coming off at all. It's not dropping leaves at all. You can see there's no leaves in the pot. So, I don't know. It's actually flowering. It's got a few flowers on it. But, whatever. I'm just going to let it go, I think. I'm not going to drastically treat it because it's getting the same stuff as both of those. So, something's going on. Probably, maybe disease. Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea. I know it's not a lack of nitrogen, that's for damn sure, so I'm not going to start pumping that into it. Well, let's see. This one's the other reaper. It's doing good. A lot of flowers. This one's got a ton of flowers on it. No pods yet. It's still dropping here and there. This is the other infinity. It's doing excellent. Really jumped up in size. And this one, here's a good view of what's going on with my 7-pot brown, because this one's got the same thing. See that? I don't know if you can see that on the leaves, but that's what's happening. Not good. I didn't pick these off purposely so I'd remember to come and treat this. I'm going to do something because this one's got it all over. And I just picked all the brown leaves off like two days ago. It's already back so it's got something. It doesn't look like bacterial leaf spot though to me. Anyhow, I don't know. It doesn't look like that. It looks like a fungus or a mold or something. Not a mold, maybe it's just a fungus. Uh, this is another peach, Jay's peach. This is a Jay's peach. And then four reds right in a row. They're all doing really good. It just rained, so they're kind of flopped down a little bit. But anyhow, that's that. And there's the Assam boot again. Anyhow, I'll cut it there. I don't know how long this is, but it's getting there. I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching, and that's what's happening inside the cage. Catch you later.